And it hits you to restart it. <laughs> Meint er das eigentlich? Ja. Sind wir jetzt tot oder hat er nur wieder restartet? Er restartet, weil wir tot waren. Ach, weil wir tot waren. Müssen wir jetzt wieder am Anfang oder geht es weiter? The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just Aber needed to get to the meeting room, yeah. and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. Links or right? Ich habe echt keinen Bock mehr auf einen Erzähler. This was Eben. not the correct way to the meeting room. Oh, Stanley Eben. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. So, ja, wow. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Als Maul. <laughs> Niemals. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five ich war years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, no. I realize that it's no, 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 someone else no, 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 but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for this. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your her, life. Her? Hey. She's been waiting. Yeah. Where is Stanley etwa heimlich eine Geliebte? Oh. So, so. So, das so. Als das gefällt dem Philipp. Das Bürokrat. Das ist ja... Unbelievable. Okay. Ah, Dunkelheit. Dunkelheit. Scheiß auf. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To yeah. reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another. <laughs> As Stanley yeah. picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, That's but with it. hope. Hope for a life reunited one. Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, <laughs> did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Uh, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <laughs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety <laughs> protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. <clears throat> I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video nice. <laughs> choice it's the best part of being a real person you but if used incorrectly it can also be the most dangerous for <laughs> example <laughs> in this scenario a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice he could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens <laughs> of impoverished third world nations or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer <laughs> radius of his house which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself <laughs> speaking to a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. 
Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Practice. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. <laughs> Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially <laughs> insignificant <laughs> and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. <laughs> Ah, oh, verdammt, ich bin schon wieder zu oben. Verdammt. Das war echt witzig gewesen. Ja. Ich habe wieder getroyt, den erzählt. Ah, da hat er uns wieder mit dem Atombomben hochgejagt. Was zum Henker? Jetzt bin ich wieder hier. Warte mal, ist da oben nicht eine Tür? Nee, ist zu. Die ist zu ihm. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Verdammt, verdammt. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Oh, really dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's keep it right. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> ah, no, glitches. Ah, we have the spiel that they are. Okay. Okay, give me all the links. That can't go any further, right? No, that can't go any further. That's all it's too. Good. Then halt nicht. And I mind. Geht das wieder los? Unglaublich. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! <laughs> Why? For what? <laughs> what did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, it, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What no. do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. No. I have to. I have to. No, that's a stir that's already done. I don't think so. Jetzt sind wir tot? Ich weiß es nicht. Oh nein, er lebt noch. Scheiße, ein Lüft der Ausseite oder so? I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. 
Um, it was the only know, thing in the world that wasn't mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Stanley. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, it's to do. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Hmm. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means nice. choosing this person nice. always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Oh. Just follow my lead the and you'll be fine. So All right. <clears throat> when Stanley That's came nice to a set of mm. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Here are no one links. Or no, no, give me right. It's in rebellious. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Behave exactly as nice. That means choosing Hello, responsibly friends. and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Hello. Stanley came to a set of two open money. doors, he entered nice. the door. Nice. 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 No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! <laughs> is behave okay. exactly as Stanley would. That boring. means choosing it's responsibly and yeah. always putting the story <laughs> first. Yeah. I'm quite sure you'll be One. up to the task. Just Boy, follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, uh, Stanley okay, decided to go up to his boss's mm -hmm. office, hoping he okay. might find an answer there. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Whoa! What the fuck? This guy says anderes. Oh, 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 Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley uh, was once again stunned to discover what? not an indication of any human life. Shocked, yeah. unravelled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver <laughs> next to it. Stuart. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions, and beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Oh, will I want to code speak? Is it Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Night Shark. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. <laughs> Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. <laughs> this is a so. crucial step. <laughs> okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When I think you're shy, to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What? Stanley? 
Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? <laughs> Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. At the end? At the end? I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening <laughs> to me? Can you hear me? Was? Is everything all right? Ich will es nicht. Stanley, this is important. Mind is it sounds. It needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot yeah, exist so without said. you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. <laughs> can I go? Do something. Please. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. <laughs> I need this. The story needs it. Nein, das machen sie nicht ernst. Das gibt's doch nicht. Wir hätten eine Restart. Are you there? Are you listening to this, Danny? Are you there? Ganz ehrlich gesagt, es gibt mehrere Endings. Okay. It's okay, I can yeah. wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. Ja. Oh, wait. Ich weiß nicht, wer weiter. Okay, wer vorbei ist. Der Kerl macht einfach nichts. Take as much time as you need. Ja, und jetzt? Und jetzt? Was? Ja, er restartet uns. Ich sag's dir. Ich. Nein! Mann, das ist eigentlich ernst. Nein, warte, das ist ein Telefon. Ich hab gehört. Da, da, da. Geh mal zu seinem Office hin. Zu dem vom. Das geht wieder. Nee, das ist nicht. Hello, this is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. <laughs> If at any time you believe you are listening yeah. to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately. And cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. <lacht> ja, sinnvoll. Geh mal weiter in dem Meeting Room oder sowas. Mhm. Der, der, der komische Zähler ist jetzt weg. Mal schauen, was ich machen muss. Mhm. Hm, When Stanley so. came to a set of two open doors, <lacht> he entered the door on his left. Was passiert eigentlich, wenn wir einfach stehen bleiben und nichts machen? Tja, hm. probieren wir es aus. Bittet uns? Also ja. uns bitten. Ja, ich... Mann, jetzt. Okay, nein, ähm. tut er nicht. Egal. Böse, böse. Und das ist der Zähler. Yet there was not a single person here Ruhe. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ha! Ha! Er wird es. Was ist das? Firehouse. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. <laughs> oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job, 
He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Hmm. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Ah. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job all I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Oh, and everything went black. Oh, <laughs> no. I love you. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Yes. Hmm? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body, and then she turned and ran. Dann kommen irgendwelche philosophischen Ansätze vom Gesellschaftskritik. Das ist unglaublich. Das gibt's doch echt nicht. 
Erst kommt er mit irgendwelchen yeah, philosophischen Ansätzen here. und ich schon vorne los. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his mouse's office, office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley <lacht> walked up to his mouse's office. Alter. Okay. Und? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Nein. <lacht> Was kommt davon? Er rächt sich. Verdammt. <lacht> Nein. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Hoi, 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 hoi. Wollt ihr, dass ich da reinfalle? Ihr wollt das wieder umbringen, ich weiß es genau. Ja, weil wir wieder zu ungeduldig sind. Unglaublich. Mhm. Jetzt nehmen wir mal den anderen Weg, wenn wir unten sind. Ja, Exit. Genau. Hab ich mir auch schon wieder. Aber wir können ja mal reinschauen, ob es immer noch dasselbe ist. Ja. Also, ähm, das mit der Mindwäsche oder was das war? Ja, aber ich glaube, wenn wir reingehen, schließt sich wieder die Tür. Und dann. Oder wir machen einfach die vorgesehene Story und. <lacht> Stanley alles, walked straight hat. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Das ist genau ja, selbe. dasselbe. Ja, gehen wir mal zu den Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Still on board with death? Hmm. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Ah, verhaarschen wir sie doch mal aufschluss nicht. Ist die, Tür, ist die Tür noch offen? Gehen wir gucken. Das wird uns die Entscheidung abnehmen. Ja. Hm. Man muss ewig laufen. Mhm. Ich glaube, sie ist noch offen. Die ist offen, oder? Die ist ah, offen. Die ist offen. Das heißt. Ja, das meinst, du, meinst du, man stirbt oder. Ich weiß es nicht. Es könnte ja. einfach ein Leak sein, aus dem aus der Gehirnwäsche rauszukommen. Eben. Das kann. Problem ich glaube, ich wenn du in, dem, in das Ding reingehst, dann kommst du ja automatisch wieder in dieses Ding rein. Ja. Und Augen zu und durch. Nein, der fällt doch runter. Mal oben, mal oben. Äh. 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 Äh.
As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no oh, consequence fuck. whatsoever. Nein. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. Scheiße. He doesn't know the real story. Nein, his narrow vision Perhaps his death was a loss, as he was the idol from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to nein, his nein, proven shadow Nein, 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 nein. Fahr durch, fahr durch, fahr durch, los, 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 Stanley Narrator was obliterated <laughs> as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Das geht doch nicht. Das gibt's doch nicht. Oh mein Gott. Lass mal, lass mal da weiter. Okay, ja, lass mal. Ja, vielleicht kommen wir da irgendwo hin. Hey, was ist das? Eine Tür. Ja. Hey, was ist das? Ja, aber ich sah also doch nicht. Ich glaube, das war Das sieht nach Außenwelt aus. Ja, das sieht nach normaler Welt aus. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, Ooh. making life so the same. So, so, so. Do you see now? Do you ah, see that Stanley was already liegen. dead from the moment he hit start? Two paintings. Sieht aus wie so ein Museum oder irgendwas. Ja. Warte, warte mal. Dreh mal um. Das hat das wohl waren. Also guck, das hey, ist das hey, Office. Hey, hey. Da geht's Office. durch und da sind die zwei Türen. Dann. Was ist das? Hm. Ja, da hinten Credits. Warten Sounds. Ich glaube, das ist so eine Art. So eine Art. Endraum, ja. Ja, ja, ich weiß auch nicht so. In die Richtung, aber. So eine Art so Develop Development Easter Egg, yep. wo sie so sagen, wie sie das Game gemacht haben. Schauen wir mal. Hm, da geht's nicht weiter. Hm, die ja, ist... Okay. Hm, na, da, gibt's, da geht's ja noch weiter. Okay, ja, ein bisschen weiter schauen. Hm. Bäume. Hm. Hm. Dann gehen wir hier hinten durch. Hier ist ja. schon versteckt. Versteckt und dunkel. Uh, hey, was ist das? Aha. Outtakes. <lacht> Outtakes. Kevin Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialect. Three separate times. They're throwing a surprise party for him, for all his button pushing. Does that sound plausible to you? Hm. Nicht schlecht. Employee Lounge. Lounge. Underground. Ah. Ach, das glaube ich aus diesem Mind Control Ding. Dieser Aufzug da, wo du am Ende hochfährst. Ja. Exit. Da sind wir da sind wir nee, da, nee, da, da, da. geht's wahrscheinlich weiter, aber ja, ich will ja. noch ein bisschen rumschauen. Ja. Hier wird jetzt noch die andere Hälfte da, da waren wir noch nicht, glaube ich. Ja. Cool. Groß. Awesome. Ja. Solche Credits mag ich. <lacht> ja. Besser als nur zwei Stunden Text. Schaut man sich zumindest an. Ja. Wie <lacht> so ein alter Guy. Ja. E-Mails. <lacht> Best E-Mail ever. Ah. Okay. Was gibt's hier zu schauen? Warzone. Rolling Development mit Design. 
an ending yeah. where Stanley would end up on a battlefield. <lacht> <Ja, die Alien. lacht> ich sag doch, Aliens und Zombies müssen dabei sein. Eben, sonst geht's nicht. Wage war against the narrative. <lacht> so what must this sein? Ah. Wäre witzig gewesen. Wäre witzig ja. gewesen. Eindeutig. Jetzt sind wir wieder zurück, oder? Mhm. Ja, jetzt sind wir einmal durch. Hoch? Ja, da sind wir. Mhm. Dann wohl hoch. Jupp. Und auf zu Exit. Dings da, wo er was auch hinführt. Mhm. Mhm. Da. Da oben irgendwo. Ich glaube, wir sind da. Da, ja, ja genau, Exit. da ist Exit. Post <lacht> Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How oh, they wish to destroy one another. How they both wish to be free. Schreiben wir da aus. Hast du drauf gedrückt? Ja. Can you see? Oh. Can you see how much they need one another? Jetzt sehen wir dunkel. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Vor allem dunkel. Ja, das ist wahr. But listen, Nein. you can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push das escape and you must quit. There's das no other way to beat this game. Escape and quit. quit. Nein. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop das now. Das you have your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Nein! Wa Warum sollte ich denn Escape drücken? Ja, ich weiß ja auch nicht. Ist mir jetzt echt tot? Verdammt. Äh. Leute. 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 <lacht> ich meinte nicht ernst. Verdammt nochmal. Ich will leben. Nein. Weiß es jetzt, wir haben gefällt? Ich weiß es nicht. Ich denke schon. <lacht> Verdammt. Ah. Was zum <lacht> Beginn, Game Again oder Quit to Menu? Ah, ich weiß ich auch nicht. Ich weiß nicht, geht's da noch weiter? Offenbar nicht. Ja. Verdammt, hat das verarscht. Wir sind doch verreckt. Alter, unglaublich. Das gibt's unglaublich. Doch nicht. Ah. Was passiert, wenn wir das machen? Ja, jetzt sind wir wieder im Main ah, Menu. <lacht> Fuck. Ja, geil. Jetzt sind wir wieder am Anfang. <lacht> Nein. Ja, das können wir später tun. Ja. Ich denke, ja, das reicht fürs Erste, oder? Ja, das reicht erstmal. Dann, ähm, ja, good game. Ja, <lacht> würde ich auch mal sagen. War recht witzig, wie wir verarscht wurden. Ja. Und, Und jo. Dann bis zum nächsten Mal. Jo. Tschüss. Tschüss.